Hi everyone, welcome to the PowerShell for Penetration Testers exam format video. In this video, as the name suggests, I'm going to show you the format of the exam which you have to pass in order to clear the certification for the PowerShell for Penetration Testers course. So I'm going to give you 10 assignments which are useful in real world penetration tests. And you have to, of course, uh, program them or code them. And uh, all the assignments are of different level of difficulty. So uh, take your time and uh, keep revisiting whatever you have seen in the course earlier to be able to go through these. Uh, you will have to blog about these assignments. You can use your personal blog or create a new blog for this. Use any of the existing uh, blogging platforms like WordPress or Blogger or, or whatever you like. Uh, so uh, for each assignment, you have to create a separate blog post. And whatever you code, you must maintain it on GitHub. So I prefer GitHub, but if you are used to uh, uh, Bitbucket or, or anything else, then uh, you can use that as well. So that is going to uh, be the exam format. 10 assignments, blog about them, code them, blog about them, uh, maintain a repository of all the solutions. And uh, what are the assignments? So assignment number one is you must write a PowerShell script to brute force basic authentication. Um, for all the assignments, remember that uh, you should create a commandlet, not only a function or a script, but commandlet. And obviously all the options, for example, for this one, the IP address, the port and the word list, etc., whatever you want, should be easily configurable as parameters to the commandlet. So this is stands true for all the assignments. So that is the first assignment. Assignment number two is enumerate all open shares in a network. So consider it, it, it depends upon you. It, it, I leave it to you. Uh, I would prefer if you consider it to be a domain network, a Windows domain network. Or even if, if you want, just assume it a non-domain network, but enumerate all the open shares and mark or list separately those uh, shares uh, which are open to all for only reading and a separate list or mark them uh, separately those which provides right access to everyone as well. So this is going to be assignment number two. Third assignment is to enumerate directories inside the C Windows System 32, that is the system directory, default system directory of Windows. So enumerate those directories which are writable by non-admin users. So uh, think of it if there are any, any such directories which are writable by non-admin users. And if you are unable to find any, any such directory, Try those directories which are writable by default by an admin user. Uh, all of these assignments are supposed to be done on Windows 7. But if you want, you can use Windows 8.1 or Windows 10 as well. Or even the server versions. It must be not older than server 2008. Assignment number four is write a registry scrapper which looks for passwords stored in Windows registry. So since there are so many tools which store their passwords either in plain or clear text or in encrypted form in Windows registry, uh, you can have a look at Meta, uh, Metasploit and use, use it as a baseline or benchmark that whatever tools uh, whatever tools 
uh, registry keys it enumerates at least you should do do at least the, those ones or you can you are free to uh, implement any number of uh, tools you want uh, bonus points for decrypting the encrypted credentials so if you want and that would be practically useful as well if you find that a tool stores credentials in registry but in a reversible encrypted form uh, then uh, bonus points for decrypting the credentials uh, go to exploitdb.com and port any two command injection exploits preferably on windows port them in powershell so that is assignment number five assignment number six is write a script which could be used to transfer files over PowerShell remoting. So uh, that is your assignment number six. Assignment number seven is write a simple web server in PowerShell, which could, which could be used to list, delete, download, and upload files over HTTP. So a sort of simple, uh, a simple PowerShell script or function or commandlet, which when gets executed on a target, it spawns a small little listener or web server uh, which when you point a browser to it uh, you should be able to download files, upload files, delete files etc. Uh, notice that I'm not uh, note that I'm not asking you to create a web shell because a web shell requires an existing web server I'm asking you to write a really small web server sort of thing Bonus points for making it HTTPS. Assignment number eight, use any popular third party web website for exfiltration. So uh, pick a website of your choice. Make sure that it is one of those websites which are generally uh, allowed through uh, proxies and web filters. <coughs> Sorry. And uh, read their documentation, their APIs and write a PowerShell script which is able to exfiltrate data to that third-party website. Bonus points for using VirusTotal, GitHub or Microsoft TechNet repository for this purpose. That is your assignment number eight. Assignment number nine is similar to the previous one but in assignment number eight you need you uh, you are required to use the third party website for exfiltration but in this assignment you must use that third party website for an interactive shell that is uh, your, your code must have a server part or a listener part which, which uh, runs on the attacker's machine and a client part which runs on the target machine and these client and server should interact using a third party website. So you upload instructions in real time on the third party website using the server part on the attacker's machine and the client part running on the target's machine reads the instructions in real time there, executes instructions and pushes the output or result back onto the third party website. And those results should be readable by the server path which is uh, running on the uh, attacker's machine in real time. Once again bonus for using virus total github or microsoft technet repository for this assignment. And uh, okay this is assignment number 10 actually. Uh, write a POC backdoor which reads instructions or scripts or commands from windows registry could be triggered by creation of another registry key and stores the output of that instruction back to registry. So uh, once again, for example, you uh, when when the script or the POC backdoor is executed on the target, it should continuously look for instructions in a particular registry key or in a particular uh, uh, so registry high depends on your implementation uh, and the effort you you are ready to put into the assignment so it should keep looking for instructions uh, in a particular registry key or whatever <coughs> sorry 
and as soon as a registry key with a special name or special value is created it should be able uh, it should trigger the existing piece of code on the on the target to read instructions once again from the registry execute those instructions and store back the instructions in the windows registry those uh, store back the results those results should be a uh, marked for example uh, let me let me tell you a quick example so for example uh, if the instruction is who am i let's say then the output must say evil and the result of who am i or POC backdoor and the output of who am I? That is, the attacker, if he has the capability, still uh, has the capability of reading the registry, we can read the registry back and decode the or read the results back by accessing the registry only. So I hope this is clear. So this is assignment number 10. Uh, the blog posts uh, which you will create for these assignments. Uh, must mention the, the, this exact words that this blog post has been created for completing the requirements of the security tube PowerShell for penetration testers so certification exam. It must also have the link uh, to the course and you must also mention your student ID just PSP dash uh, uh, whatever uh, you will find it in the, the course introduction email which you get after registering for this course so this uh, must be mentioned in your blog post uh, okay so the evaluation criteria would be first of all methodology and quality of blog post so uh, writing good code is one thing and the ability to explain it to everyone is something else so how and how how you explain your code and your approach to these problems or assignments uh, that would be the, the one of the topmost things while evaluating your submissions then obviously or originality of code <coughs> try not to use existing code even if it is there uh, if you use it if you don't find any way out make sure that you give the credit where it is due, uh, use citations, provide credits. So each assignment carries 10 points, additional 5 points for bonus tasks which, which are the, written there with assignments and negative points minus 10 points for using code or blog posts without credit. So if you use someone's code or blog post or, or some, something else, make sure that you, that you mention that. And marks above 30, 70 is the certification criteria. That is, uh, you will be successful if you score more than 70 out of 100. Extra 10 points other than the bonus points. If you submit improvements, merge requests to any existing offensive or defensive PowerShell tools. Uh, or, uh, or speaking about PowerShell in your local city side, B sites, internal or or whatever meetup or conference uh, make sure that it is a community event and uh, you are allowed to post links and uh, slides to it so that uh, we know that you spoke there and extra five points for community interaction let people know about uh, what you have learned share it with the community that is the best way to go forward so create a chatter on twitter facebook uh, accept comments on blog posts, leave comments, so extra five points for that. And this is going to be a submission format. Uh, send an email to feedback at binarysecuritysolutions.com with the subject PSP exam blog posts. And the email should contain link, link to the 10 blog posts for assignments, link to the GitHub repository, link to the submission to existing PowerShell tools if you have submitted, link to Twitter, Facebook or any other social media platform if you have posted about it there and wait for about five working days to get the result. 
so uh, that is all for this video i hope you will enjoy uh, writing uh, codes and blog posts for these 10 assignments best of luck for that i hope you enjoyed the course thank you very much